Well, howdy diddly dandy there, chums, as I, Captain Stephen X, and today, chums, I'm going to bring to you guys in viewer world some speculation that I've got bouncing around in my head around what might be in the new expedition once it drops. I know that we're not even a month into our current one, but here we go, in another month's time or so, and a bit, <laughs> hopefully we get to see another expedition. And this is my speculation on the things I would like to see. Not what I expect to see, but based on what we've done in the Pioneers expedition, this is kind of what I'm hoping we're going to see in the next edition. Right, so we got a golden vector as a reward for completing the current expedition. I'm hoping that we get given similar sort of rewards in a golden sort of colour. I mean, we've got the golden head, you know, the headpiece, which is pretty cool. And we've got that awesome fandangly backpack that I've got on right now. But I'm thinking it'd be cool if we got some golden Viking armour pieces. Now, the first sort of expedition that we went on was very much explorer-driven. It had the compass as an icon, and we started off with, like, an explorer ship, and it felt very much like we was doing things for the Explorer's Guild. And we also had that um, famous explorer as one of the badges. Heck yes. So I'm hoping we may even get a golden starter pistol. That'd be pretty darn sweet, wouldn't it? A multi-tool. So these are all the badges that we got in the Pioneer expedition and all the ones over on the left are the ones that I feel could be used in the next expedition and yeah that big purple one that popped up a little bit later is actually the mercenary guild type badge so we've got the famous explorer there over on the right that one is its counterpart for the mercenary guild so the famous mercenary or something like that now we'll cover off most of these patches that i've got on screen at the moment as we go through this video and how i feel that they might come into play so over on the galactic map if you keep going as far as you can go Although that they say that the stars go on for infinity, they do not. They stop at around 924 thousand billion light years or wherever that is over on the left hand side of the screen there. Now in the Viking lore, it states that the Viking pushed the Sentinels back to the outer realms of space. Now those two badges, one of those is for collecting Gravitino balls, and we know that they spawn on aggressive Sentinel planets. So perhaps we are going to go collect some Gravitino balls on extreme Sentinel worlds at the edge of the universe. That's kind of what I'm thinking. So I'm hoping that our new expedition will start around this sort of area of space at the galactic edge is what I'm thinking chums heck yes I am hoping that this might bring a little bit of Viking lore into the edition but then again there was none for the explorers so who knows right so I'm just warping to an abandoned area of space now the one of those badges is for landing on an abandoned planet not um, visiting an abandoned system, but landing on an abandoned planet. Another one of those badges is for fixing damaged frigates, which we haven't done as yet. And the other badge there, chums, was for actually raiding a freighter. Not saving a freighter, but raiding a freighter. So I'm thinking perhaps we may even have to do a freighter raiding type mission and become a pirate ourselves, chums, and loot a little, which would be pretty darn freaking sweet. So I'm just taking out some pirates at the moment in my ship and I'm helping defend this freighter. There's also two badges, two badges for defeating pirates. So I'm unsure whether one might be for expedition, one might be for a submission, maybe there might be one for killing a certain number of pirates you know like how we had to kill a certain amount of sentinels well maybe we have to kill a certain amount of pirates there is also badges for killing a walker and also killing sentinel quads or actual sentinel drones we've already done the drones one but the quads and walkers could appear inside of this sort of mission and yes saving a freighter might be there again but it might be saving a number of freighters perhaps who knows um, but yeah, it, I think we might get one for raiding a freighter and becoming a bit of a pirate, which could be quite cool. Right, so I am hoping that we might see a few more of these missions inside of the abandoned areas of space. So let's fly on into the abandoned space station. Oh look, there's two ships flying into the abandoned space station. We don't see that happen all too often. Oh, he's flying through the freaking roof. Hopefully that gets fixed in the next edition. Heck yes. It's already been in the patch notes like twice. <laughs> 
<laughs> but yeah, I still see ships flying through ceilings of space stations. Right, so let's touch on down. Let's head on over and let's go talk to one of these Vikings. Now, I've noticed that some of the Viking dialogue, there's still words that I don't understand. Even though I know every single word in Viking currently, yet in the patch notes it did say that they have sorted that out and fixed it. Moose Gaming has told me that now, there we go, there's a word I don't know, but Moose Gaming has told me that there's words that have now been added to Knowledge Stones, so go and touch and interact with a few Knowledge Stones and we might be able to fix that issue. So I might do that for Viking in this episode. Why I'm giving you my speculation, heck yes. So here we go, yeah, so that's pretty awesome. And another thing with abandoned space stations, chums, is that all the main rooms are busted to hell and got all this pus in. There's wires hanging down, the doors are knackered, but the Atlas Free rooms are pristine. Why are they pristine? I would love to know why they're protected by the Atlas when the inside of them there's fudging nothing worth having anyway. And sometimes there's remembrance rooms. But yes, it would be nice to get some lore as to why... Those rooms are untouched, and why we've got the Atlas Pass free cards. Heck yes. Right, so heading over to my Viking screen here. You can see here, total used to be 781 words. That was the max. So apparently they've added another three words to each knowledge stone to fix that issue, or four. So we'll go and check those out in a bit. Now there's the Mercenary Guild sticker, and I feel it's going to be very Mercenary Guilds related. Now if I zoom in, and I'll read out some of the text... For the Mercenaries Guild, a loose collective of mercenaries, organisations across the galaxy, the Guild hosts a range of competing factions, many of whom fight each other given the chance. Pirates, vigilantes, undercover law enforcement, cults, rogues and crusaders, the Mercenaries Guild keeps a galactic peace by ensuring the right jobs are given to the right groups of armed opportunists. We could become those rogues. We could become those opportunists. Heck yes, I freaking love all of that stuff. And I would like to see more of that brought into the actual edition. I mean, when you read the Explorers Guild, a mutual association of researchers and explorers, the Explorers Guild serves to match up those who need data with those who would collect it. Membership is largely split between scientific institutions, blah de blah de blah That kind of plays into exactly what the last expedition update was all about. So it does make me think that they're going to go through all three of these. So I'm expecting, well, I, I think we're going to get the Mercenaries Guild, is my speculation, is the next one, and it's going to be very much hunt sentinels, kill pirates, type missions. So yeah, that's what I'm thinking. It's going to be very much fight orientated. And the Vikings seem to be the race most aligned to doing fighting. I mean, when you read the write-up of the Viking, they're very cool. They almost read a little bit like the Klingon Empire, or even like the Predators. Yeah, they're, they're freaking awesome. They've got a loyal code of honour. And yeah, all that sort of shenanigans going on. So I feel that maybe we might be doing some Viking missions, mercenary guild stuff, and maybe around Viking space. And a little bit of Viking lore, I'm hoping. But here we go. I've learnt a new word for calm in Viking from the first knowledge stone we've hit up, chums. Yeah, so maybe I just need to calm down my ideas a little bit. Yeah, sometimes I think these knowledge stones might be calling out to me and giving me little mini messages. Let's hit up the next one. There's one just there. We're going to hit this one up. Right, let's just interact with that. And what do you know? It says Captain. <laughs> See what I mean? It's talking to me, Charles. Stay calm, Captain. Heck yes. I wonder why I need to stay calm. Here we go. Ancient knowledge passed down through the generations of Viking warriors spills from the Marcus Stone. The Vikings saw borders stretch between the stars. Onwards they delved with legions at their back, scorching sentinel metal from their fiery chariots and attack ships. That's pretty darn freaking sweet. Like I say, they pushed the sentinels back to the outer edge of the universe, and they did that by a righteous good. Heck yes, they did, which is pretty darn freaking epic. I love the Viking lore. It's probably the, the best lore, I think, amongst all of them. But there we go. Oh, I learned the word for freighter. Where did Ariadne go? She went on board a dark freighter in the abyss. Who knows? But there we go. Let's interact with this one. Lovely jubbly. We've got some more knowledge of the Viking. Now, some of these plaques in previous iterations, chums, have called the Viking machine priests or exocraft priests. So speculation wise, there, chums, down at your bases, you can place tech desks. For, and you've got two Viking NPC agents. One that has multi-tools, and the other that has 
Exocrafts, and I'm wondering whether that may play into the rewards that we actually get, as, you know, we might get a golden multi-tool or a new fangled Exocraft. Oh, we've got the word for ready. Heck yes, well I'm ready for my second expedition, for sure. Right, let's hit up another one of these knowledge stones, and there we go, it says nothing new. So there we go, we've learnt all the additional words there are to learn for Viking chums. So that's pretty much everything that, that I've got for you, really. And yes, yeah, so so I'm thinking the next expedition is probably going to be based around Viking and maybe the Mercenaries Guild. You can see that I've now learned 785 words and that's the new maximum. So hopefully no more white words for me. Heck no, no more unknown words of Viking. Anyway, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Please put them in the comments and I'll see you again soon. Goodbye, goodbye and goodbye again. I want to say a massive great big thank you for watching. If you like what you see, please like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. And thank you to my backers over on Patreon and on YouTube membership. If you do want to support this channel, you could just not skip my adverts. That throws revenue down my avenue. Or stay with Captain Steve a little bit longer and hit something on this screen. Heck yes, there's also merch on this screen now. Awesome!